An elderly couple was attacked and robbed after returning to their home in eastern Williamson County. It happened 30 years ago today. S.E. Ritchie died two weeks later from his injuries, and no one was ever arrested. As Kexan's Lauren Kravitz reports, the victim's family is pleading for answers as the sheriff's office works on new leads. If these people would have said, give me your wallet, oh man, he'd, he'd have handed it right to them. S.E. Ritchie and his wife were unloading groceries in their driveway when they were both hit. His wife, Ethel, was knocked unconscious and could never remember what happened. She passed away in 2000 without knowing who took her husband's life. I went around the corner at nine years old. And so my grandpa covered in blood. Richie's grandchildren will never give up hope. We are so much closer than we've ever been. That's because the family is now working with the county's newly created cold case unit. The sheriff's office says they have 20 persons of interest in this homicide. They say the cold case unit has interviewed every one of them. They're also finally getting existing evidence and off to DPS. There's evidence that's either not been sent to the lab as it should be, or it's been sitting there waiting for instructions uh, to DPS on what they should be doing. And detectives are still looking for new evidence, like Richie's black wallet with his initials. It was never found. His family is waiting for closure. It's time. It's time for us all to heal. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. If you have any information on the death of S.E. Ritchie, you're asked to call the cold case unit at 512-943-3739. We've also posted their email address with this story at kxan.com.